we started exporting uh, 15 to 20 years ago um, and in certain markets like Singapore and so forth. Um, but in the last two years, we've doubled in our export size um, and that's all about concentrating on the consumer and concentrating our approach. And we've decided that China, uh, for a number of reasons, is our number one market that we're going to focus on and that's where we're putting our time and investment in. How do you take advantage of these free trade agreements and what do they mean for Carmen's? Well, they mean heaps. Um, I would say, firstly, it puts us on the radar of retailers overseas, which is really important. So we get a number of approaches as soon as a free trade agreement is announced. Um, so it helps us there. I'll use China as an example, uh, fresh, in, fresh in my mind. The tariff reduces to zero uh, percent uh, at the start of next year. Um, so when we entered the market, we knew that was coming down. So what we ended up doing is offer that discount from day one. So our price in market wouldn't change. And then use the extra profit they were making and reinvest that in marketing. So it's just managing that process um, and being in control of it. So my, one of my best advice about free trade agreements is a lot of times if you've got a distributor, they're in control of the tariff. You need to make sure you manage that effectively and that's part of your initial conversation.